Okay, we'll go ahead and get started with Nolan Smith. And we'll start it off with uh, Palmer Tomes and Anthony Dasher. Yeah, Nolan, what was the vibe like on the sideline there early, getting up 35 to nothing in that first quarter? I mean, the vibe on the sidelines is always positive, you know, but we still treat every game like it's 0-0. You know, we try to always cause more turnovers, you know, and we have a standard here. So we always try to meet that standard every game as far as turnovers and all and all our goals. Hey, I know, uh, like you just said, you guys always play to a standard. But I was wanting to ask you about, about getting the shutout, especially right there at the end when the, you know, the second unit is out there trying to fight to keep them off the board. And you guys, uh, the starters seem pretty excited about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's no we we always say it's no drop off. So man, if you if you out there, you're a starter. It's no ones, twos, and threes. And you know, I'm cheering for them just like if I was cheering for Adam if he was out there. You know, I'm sitting there down the sideline cheering them every way. And I know I don't want nobody to score. We say nobody in our end zone. That's the standard that follows for everybody. Okay, let's go to Jed May, followed by Dean Leggy. Yeah, Nolan. Um, obviously another huge game for Brock Bowers. Just what has it been like seeing him develop and what is your favorite, maybe Brock Bowers memory story, uh, whatever that you can share from practice? Oh man, a hundred percent. That's my son. I tell him every day, you know, you my son, we OLBs and tight ends. We don't never get blocked by tight ends. You know, like we call ourselves the Wolf Pack. So when he came in as a freshman, I say, I just want to let you know, you're going to be my son for a long, long time. Cause we always go against each other every day, but I mean, it was a punt. It was on, um, we were in fall camp. It was a Tuesday like practice. It was punt day. And I said, all right, now, son, this is where we make our money at. And he stayed with me every rep. And, you know, I work, I, I tend to like, you know, work hard, try to push the envelope. And he stayed with me and we worked through because we are usually the same side on punt. And that's just one of the stories that I'll never forget, man. That little freshman coming in, we in half line punt. And we taking like eight reps, 8,000 reps, and we just hitting. And he's staying with me every rep. He's not making one false step. He step, step, shuffle, fit, hat inside. So. Hey, hey Nolan, we're on a delay here sometimes. Uh, I, I am. We're, we get a delay, Tim. I'm sorry. Uh, All right. Nolan, what, what are these practices like? If y'all keep talking about practices. Um, how much more difficult are they than the games? <laughs> a lot. You know, the object is for practice is to make practice harder than the game. You know, at the University of Georgia, we 100% do make practice harder than the game. And I think it, I think it helps. I 100% say since, since my freshman year, when they say we make practice harder than the game, and when you go in the game, it's just, it's just like an ease. It's just like a sense of, just sit there and breathe and you just go through all your keys, you read your keys and everything because it's not, you know, the bullet's not flying. Let's go to Chip Towers, followed by Jake Rowe. Yeah, Nolan, uh, uh, is this what you guys expected? I mean, obviously, uh, uh, you guys feel like you're probably better than most of the teams you face, but I mean, this is a, a – almost historic uh, domination of an in an SEC game in particular. Just what's your takeaway from how thorough this uh, do, uh, the domination was? Yeah, well, well, y'all may say we, we dominated, but, I mean, Vandy played a good hard game, you know, tried to run the ball a little bit. Obviously, you know, that's one of our team goals is to stop and run. So, you know, where they tried to run the ball a little bit, they tried to get things going, a little QB, QB runs. And it's just it's just amazing how the team is just starting, you know, to stay connected, stay keep each other calm, and still pe keep pushing forward, and you know, trying to play football. I just think they do a major job in keeping composure, and still they're also still very physical up front. Nolan, how how badly did you guys want that shutout? I mean, what was the? I mean, was it was it a thing where? You know, you guys are engaged all four quarters trying to make, you know, trying to keep that second and third defense up. I mean, was, was it something you guys were really, uh, you know, scratching for? I mean, you you say that, but now I go back to one of our team goals, man, the standard. We say nobody in our end zone. That means nobody. I don't care if we, if we plan the New England Patriots. They don't go in our end zone. It's just as a defensive mindset. You got to have that mindset. If you have a mindset to go out there, they're going to score 21 points, then they're going to score 21 points. We let nobody in our end zone, period. And that's just my mindset. That's our coach's mindset. That's the player's mindset. That's something that we buy into. Again, another team standard on defense. 
Okay, that's all the time we have for Nolan. Nolan, I appreciate your time. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Somebody asked him to turn it down, so I'm dancing.